The city of Thomasville is addressing issues related to its vacant buildings and factories. A lot of people have been complaining about mm -hmm. this in that community, and this is now part of an effort to revitalize downtown and the surrounding area. Yeah, some of these buildings will be torn down. Fox 8 Celeste Smith, she joins us from Thomasville with more on this. And Celeste, what buildings are they targeting here and what's driving all this? Well, Thomasville city manager told me that there are there are several buildings that are vacant in the city that are showing signs of dilapidation and the city wants them fixed and some of them are residential retail and old factories and one of those buildings is right behind me and it is the old TFI plant a building and it's now in the process to soon be demolished. We've had uh, a pretty good amount of success of having property owners either make the upgrades necessary to properties. Uh, mostly residential properties uh, or uh, moving forward and having them torn down when they just can't uh, be uh, rehabilitated. Broken glass, exposed building frames and roofs falling in. All concerned city of Thomasville leaders have about some vacant buildings around the city. The broken windows theory is is something that's been around for a long time that, that if there are places that have broken windows, then it shows that someone doesn't care about a place. Uh, so we're trying to do a better job of, of going after the property owners. The city's recent efforts include trying to have more code enforcement activity for properties not up to standards. The city has contacted owners of the old textile mill that sits near Ridgecrest Street and Taylor Street and the old TFI plant A that sits on West Main Street. We're trying to focus uh, our efforts to develop some new ordinances that, that directly uh, apply to vacant buildings or buildings that have damage and try to uh, bring them back up to code. The old TFI plant A is in the process of being demolished. Over the last six months, crews have been working to remove things from the inside of the building so it can be torn down. That's one of those things where we're glad that it's happening um, and we certainly wanted them to, to do something of the sort, either restore it and or uh, make it safe. Uh, and or remove it as and they made the decision to remove it. They also aim to make improvements in neighborhoods. Working through the North Carolina Main Street program, the city hopes to give vacant buildings in downtown a facelift. Trying to market those buildings that are vacant now or maybe underutilized. Uh, some of the downtown buildings are used for storage and things of that nature. And Brant said that the biggest concern about these buildings is trying to get them addressed because of safety concerns. And he said that it can be a lengthy process working with these property owners to get these concerns addressed. And he said if they were to be condemned and the city was responsible for demolition, it could cost the city up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Live in Thomasville, Celeste Smith, Fox 8 News.